I'm going to show you how to beat man coverage in Madden 24 out of the new trips formation. This is in the Patriots playbook. It's called Gun Y Off Trips Pats, or it's also just known as U Trips historically in Madden. It's been one of the best formations for ever. And if you want to get my entire U Trips offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. It's only $10 to join the Patreon, and it gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Everything for just $10. The link's going to be down in the description below. So uh, my favorite way to attack man coverage this year is going to be this play Y option wheel out of U trips. Uh, and what we're going to do is we know that blitzes are certainly a thing right now. So we're going to block our tight end. Blocking our tight end is pretty good for picking up pressure. And then we're going to streak our slot receiver and we're going to drag our outside trips receiver. What this is going to do is it's going to give us really effective spacing on this play. And you're going to be able to attack man coverage at a really, really consistent basis. Now, if they try to match a linebacker up with a running back, you are going to be able to burn them over the top. So what this does is it kind of limits some of the things they can do from a, uh, a coverage perspective. So you'll see here a very popular adjustment, especially if you're going to blitz a formation like U-Trips, is to utilize what's known as the scissor adjustment. The scissor adjustment is not going to be effective for stopping this running back wheel. You'll see he'll get over the top of that corner every single time and you'll be able to burn him in man coverage. So you have a great little route that is going to start this off as a really good man beater and limit some of the things they can do from their man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the best way to defend the running back wheel would actually be to, um, you know, put this, put this guy on the left, uh, the safety, in man coverage on the running back. The problem with that is you can quick throw this wheel route, and we know how good Jukebox is this year. Uh, jukebox is this year, and so you can hit that and get a couple quick yards, potentially break a tackle, and you know obviously give yourself a chance for a big play. So there's a lot of things in this that they're going to have to think about in terms of how they're going to defend the running back. So the best way, all in all, to stop this would be to drop a hard flat over there uh, to that linebacker so that he can kind of help bracket the wheel so that the safety cannot get burned quickly, and then the safety can get back on it, and you'll see now they're able to stop the running back wheel. The problem with that is, number one, it, it eliminates their uh, ability to send pressure, so they can't really blitz this with a running back wheel because we're obviously going to be able to pick up the blitz, so you're going to get more of a maximum coverage approach, right? So because we're going to get a more maximum coverage approach, then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to work your backside route. So your drag route, really good. Drags this year, probably the best year for drags that we've seen in a long time. They're really good this year. And the only the only way to stop them is to utilize a hard flat. Now, the other thing that is really important to understand is if the user decides, the best route on the play is obviously the post route and the wheel route. So if the user decides, hey, I'm going to go guard that, that post, you can check down to this drag right in the middle of the field just like that. And to stop that drag route, they're going to have to have four to five different underneath zones. They're going to have to have two hard flats. They're going to have to have two yellow zones. And they're going to have, and those yellow zones are going to have to be shaded underneath. So because of all of the things they have to do to stop the drag, a lot of times their user will end up biting down on the drag route to try to take this away. And when the user bites down on the drag route, then what you're going to be able to do with this play is you're going to be able to hit your post, which is truly the best route on the play. Actually, low-key Porter uh, got, got a little glitchy there in his coverage. Um, this post route, normally really effective against uh, against beating man coverage. Crax mode can sometimes be a little inconsistent this year. But you'll see right here, if the bumping isn't there, you should see here, pass lead right, rat catch that, you see we're going to be able to throw that against man coverage. Really, really good. Now, if you have Slot Apprentice, uh, which I highly recommend, I think Slot Apprentice makes – every offense instantly better, you can utilize this slot apprentice post. And the slot apprentice post is better. And the reason why it's better is because it's going to get a sharper cut against man coverage. And it's going to be a little bit more reliable for you to be able to consistently get the same thing every time. Uh, so you see there a couple good things that we can do against man. Um, one of the things that a lot of people like to do against U trips in terms of their coverage is they'll zone out this corner and they'll put him in a cloud flat and then they'll have this guy manned up here. And then maybe they'll do something like this. This would be a pretty good adjustment for this play right here, okay? If they were to do something like this, though, it's going to leave this slot receiver one-on-one. -on -one. 
And because the slot receiver is one-on-one, -on -one, what you can often do is you'll see here, you'll get some bumping and you can free form this up and over the top and potentially get a one play score. So feel free to look at that slot. Um, he's, he's not, it's not hundred percent, right? Uh, nothing is this year, but just understand that that slot can get some separation for you. And, and really what I like to do is just touch pass it over the top. If there's no safety help, if there's no middle third safety, you have the whole middle of the field. So just free form or passing straight up, rat catch it. And you see, you can give yourself a chance over the top. Okay. Um, again, you know, obviously they would, you know, if they're shading underneath, it's going to be a little easier uh, just depending on where the safeties are, where the help is and all that stuff, you know, can kind of change things, but just know like we have a streak on the field. Don't be afraid to utilize it. If you got a guy that's open, he's open and throw it. Um, but there you see, there's that post even gets over top of that cloud flat. So how does this play work against zone coverage? Uh, it spaces the field very well against zone. Really, there's two reads on this. Um, again, zone coverage that I like to really utilize. First and foremost, right off rip, we always want to check to that drag if that's open. And normally that drag is going to be open against zone because that post route has to be user defended. They have to go to user the post route consistently uh, in this. So if they go user the post, even if they have a hard flat on the field, even if they have you know a hook curl, even if they have some a lot of underneath coverage, the uh, drag is going to be open coming across right in that little window right there. And you're going to be able to hit that for an easy game. Now, another thing that I think is important to talk about is something that you might see this a little bit more aggressive way to defend U trips, but basically they're going to play cover two hard flat, and then they're going to try to essentially use the post. So if you get a coverage like that, or even similar to that, just notice here, this running back wheel, you can, you can uh, pass lead that to the sideline once he clears that cloud flat. Now, hopefully we don't get shedded like we just did. Uh, let me do this real quick. And this will um, probably, you'll see a little bit cleaner what I'm talking about. So again, uh, and we're obviously blocking our tight ends. So we have time. And then you'll see here, right about there, you see how you can throw this over the top against cover two? So they can't really run cover two. You're gonna be getting a lot more cover three, cover four, rolling coverage, um, stuff like that. And so because of that, it's going to then make this play that much better because, again, your running back wheel really takes this play to the next level because it's able to give you something that's a big hitter against any kind of aggressive defense your opponent might play. Guys, U-Trips is really good this year. It spaces the field vertically, horizontally in every single fashion. And if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, a ton of really good concepts in there, you can sign up for the Patreon by clicking the link down in the description. Ten bucks will get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. Thanks for watching and head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.